Hello, welcome back to Wildlands. Today I've got some fun footage of me debrambling an area near Rosie's tent. It's a huge, huge patch of brambles and we don't want to eradicate it all because it's all part of the natural ecosystem here. We're trying our best to strike a, a nice balance between doing things with the land that we need it to do. We need to clear some of the ground, we need to clear some of the trees and the undergrowth and um, what we would consider to be weeds so that we can grow food, lots of vegetables, tropical plants um, that we're going to sell so we've got a little bit of a business going on. We need to be able to do those things while we're on the land or there's no point in having the land. But we also don't want to have bought a piece of beautiful wild land out in the middle of the countryside and then rip it all down, get rid of all the trees, get rid of all the uh, the bushes and, and uh, scrape it back to bare earth because that's not fair. We want to be good custodians to the land. We want to work in harmony with the rhythms of nature, the seasons, all of the animals and plants that are here already, they have the right to stay. So with regards to the brambles, I've chosen a patch that's going to stay and is quite large and we're going to, uh, I don't think it'll be in our way, so each year we're going to chop back any of the sprouts that have come up out of the ground, any, anywhere that it's spreading, to keep it in this area, but then it can stay. I've seen birds perching in there, making it their home, so that's nice. Uh, but we e equally don't want it to encroach into Rosie's area, I want her to be able to walk from the, uh, from the top down to her tent and then from the tent down the level to where her trampoline's going to go without getting caught up in the brambles. So I'm going to dig up the, uh, the root nodules as much as I can and um, well to start with I'm raking it all out to get rid of previous year's growth and then I'm going to use the uh, secateurs to cut off some of the scratchier bits and then I'll dig up the roots to try and help it stay in one place. There are lots of areas here on wildlands that we're going to leave completely natural. We're just going to let nature take its course. The things that are growing there already, they can keep on growing. The animals that are there can keep on doing their thing. However, we do have the constraints that it's our duty, we're required by law, to clear out anything that's considered fire risk. So we have to get rid of all of the brush, all of the dead wood that's been falling here for years and years and years that previous owners should have got rid of too. Well, that's on us, because if a wildfire should come through here, it needs to find as little as possible to burn. Having said that, we will be leaving some piles of dead wood, particularly where it's already started rotting down into the undergrowth. Um, we're required to clear around any area of habitation. We don't yet have a habitation license on the ruin, but it's on its way. So we will need to clear around the ruin. I mean, it's actually just behind you. I'll turn you around so that you can see it in a minute. Um, but there's, our land is so huge that there is definitely room to allow piles of dead wood because it's very, a very important place for beetles and we have termites who like to eat dead wood and all sorts of other creatures that make their living in there, not to mention all the fungi who are helping the, they're holding the whole ecosystem together. So that's important to us. That's my bramble pile so far. This is the little area that I've cleared. It's probably about four square feet, but I have also cleared most of the hanging brambles out of this tree. So hooray! This is my next area. Doesn't look like much on the camera, but the whole thing, everything, is brambles, thick with brambles. Um, but just here, there's a wall, which is what I'm trying to clear because we want to be able to get down the wall. Oh, hello down the wall to um, to this second area where there's an old fig and Rose is going to have a trampoline just there. There's a nice little flat area over there. So onwards with bramble clearing and uh, poor sore thumb. Can you see that? It got me. I've got a bit of a technique going with my mattock which has its prongy ends and I just kind of lunge it in and yank and hopefully pull out some of the 
some of the dead brambles from previous years and some of the live ones and then when I hit a snag that I can't when I hit a snag that I can't get through with this then I go in with the um, secateurs and snip them off close to the roots and I'll go around chopping out the roots a bit later Ow. Sometimes they fight back. Get off me. It's unfortunate that I had to dig up the land. I didn't really want to leave it in as much of a state as that, but there were just roots everywhere. Um, but I think I think the natural plants are going to come back. We'll sprinkle some uh, flower seeds down here. We'll let the bushes grow. And uh, oh, there's a cute fern. I'm going to show you the little ferns that I just found on the wall. Look, it's so cute. That's my finger for size. Little ferny on the wall. And if we go over here. There are some even teeny tiny ones growing in this little nook. There's just so much beauty around. I stand up. You can see. What can you see? See that white label there? That's a cherry that we planted. And over there you can just about see the tangerine. A couple more cherries. And you can see the top of the arbor peeking through. That's our fruit forest. This pile here we made when we were clearing various areas, but we're going to leave that because I've noticed lots and lots of birds love sitting in there. So we're going to leave that be. Uh, in the back you can just about see some of the trees that we planted. There's a mandarin and some cherries. And then down here is a glorious fig that had loads of figs on it last year. So we're going to leave that be. Beyond it, this pile here we're going to clear and remove it and uh, burn it or bury it. Bring you around a bit more. It's very hard to see because of the dappled light, but hopefully I can explain it. This is the path down that we usually take to get to Rosie's tent. This pile here, apart from the little tree that's gonna stay, pile behind it is the brambles that I've cleared. And uh, there's still a bit more. This is brambles here and there's a few more around the tree, but I'm trying very carefully not to bother the, uh, the fig tree too much. And then I'll, I'll walk you down. I'll use Dom's walking cam. Here we go. So going down the path. So this is all debrambled. And you can see here it's almost debrambled. And then bring you around carefully, carefully. Not going to the tent today. We're going around here. So I've cleared all of this, which is along the edge of this wall, which takes you down to the next level. Now all of this lot, and this is all the brambles I've managed to pull out, I'm going to have to pitch fork this onto a wheelbarrow and take it away for burning. And as you can see around here, so then this whole area is going to be all clear. And we maybe put some wildflowers in and we'll allow some of the natural plants to grow back in, just not the brambles. So this here is the pile that I said when I was up there a minute ago we're going to get rid of. And this here, this large patch, that's the brambles that are going to get to stay. Hooray brambles! Then we'll go down one more level. Oh, there we go. And then I'll turn you around. There we are. That's a rather glorious little wall. With a tree growing out of it. So I'm going to keep this clear of brambles. And anything else can grow back up. 
and, and take over again. And then Rosie can hop up and down this little bit here. Excuse me. There's another fig tree. I don't know if that produced figs or not. It was so covered in brambles we couldn't even see it. And then just here is where Rosie's trampoline is going to go. So there's more debrambling to do. And this is a rather magnificent tree that's fallen over at some point in the past. And that's staying as well because it provides a wonderful hidey hole for all sorts of creatures. I'm also going to leave you with two minutes of peace. Today is particularly peaceful out on the land. We've got the occasional cowbell from over there behind me. There's bird song, there's breeze. Absolutely beautiful today. The air is freezing cold, um, but the sunshine is warm. So it's a fabulous day for being outside. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.